Hey everyone, meteorologist Matt Jones back at the Weather Center. Hey, it's Sunday, so let's uh, get a little science and get a little nerdy here. So, we're talking about lightning. We saw a lot of lightning this week, so hey, let's talk about it. Each lightning strike produces over 10 million watts of energy. You do the math, you convert that to watts per hour, and we get this number right here per a single bolt. Now, how many homes can, can it uh, give enough energy to in a single day? Well, you do a little bit more math. You say on average, a home has about 2,000 watts it uses in a 24-hour period. You're left with this number, which means, hey, you're looking at 56 homes in a single day. That's what one bolt of energy could do. Imagine if we could harness that. Also, for your Science Sunday moment, we could see, say we put a well, just a storm cloud with a few lightning strikes over Youngstown, just relatively speaking. Technically, on good atmospheric conditions, we can hear the rumbles of thunder around 10 miles away. Unfortunately, though, lightning on average can reach, well, 25 miles away. So there's 10 miles where you don't even have to hear the thunder to hit, get struck by lightning, which is the fear, fear of it. Also, what we're looking at, the record for the longest strike ever recorded by the University of Florida was 118 miles long. That's the storm in Youngstown going all the way to Mansfield in central Ohio. Yeah, that's long. Now, it didn't say that it was a cloud to ground strike, but still, 118 miles, yeesh. Hey, this summer, it's not over. We're going to see a lot more lightning, so please be very careful, especially we go into the month of July. Clouds and radar currently, if we get back to conditions, we see a few clouds, no lightning strikes in the area. Temperatures in the mid to low 60s, we're only going to drop a little bit more than that, but not too much, just into the upper 50s. Dew points holding steady around 57 degrees, feeling absolutely beautiful outside. Now, we are seeing some rain in the future. We're going to track it out for you. We're looking at Monday right around 8 a.m. We go through the day on Monday and absolutely beautiful sunny skies all day Monday into your Tuesday morning. Now, we can see a few clouds build Tuesday into your Tuesday afternoon, but we won't see any rain on Tuesday in the valley. Wednesday, well, that's a different story. We see Wednesday morning the clouds start to build, and then we go through the day Wednesday, and here comes the rain. We see it in the afternoon hours, even a few rumbles of thunder and a shower and a storm later, expected Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So we're going to be watching this very closely, especially as we get into the midday or the mid part of our week. Tonight, we're looking at temperatures dipping down to around 59 degrees, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, with that sunshine and mostly sunny skies, we're warming back, back up into the upper 80s. For the rest of your seven day forecast, we can see, well, that heat is going to stick around. We're looking at temperatures 87 on Monday, 89 on Tuesday, 89 on Wednesday, and it continues all the way until Thursday. When you get the heat, humidity, you also get thunderstorms. That's why we're seeing that on Wednesday and Thursday. You're watching 27 First.